Hello, I hope this finds you well. It is a kind of sunny uh, Tuesday morning here in the United Kingdom where I am from. I am currently talking to you from Hertfordshire. Uh, my name is Kat if you've not been here before and it's lovely to meet you if you are new. If you've been here for a while it's really nice to see you again and, and I hope you are all doing well no matter what you are doing where you are. Um, I have myself a coffee this morning. Uh, I didn't have one yesterday and I really felt like I should have, but we got through good. Um, so on Mondays I have been helping Alex and uh, for some reason Sunday night neither of us slept very well at all and we woke up and you know when you've got that like gut feeling that you're just gonna have a rough day? And we didn't! We had a really nice day and I didn't have any coffee, I had a couple of cups of tea and we had a really nice time, so go figure. And today I just felt like I'd sit down with you and have a nice cup of something comforting and cosy. So here we are. Cheers. I hope you have something to keep you company to, whether that's a project or a cup of something. I am drinking a decaf coffee from Guatemala, I think. It is a coffee from Horsham Coffee Roasters and I must remember every time I've ordered a coffee in the last year or so I've it's I've forgotten that um, we know someone that has a really lovely coffee roastery that we should really support um, I mean there's so many out there to support but you know um, I just this is just very reliable decaf coffee and at a very, very sensible and affordable price, an accessible price for the quality, I think. Um, yes, anyway, and I'm having it in a teacup because slightly punk, I don't know. <laughs> I did think that I wasn't really feeling sociable enough to record today. But here I am, waffling already, so... Uh, so here I am, waffling already, so we know it's gonna be maybe a chatty one, we'll see. Uh, I have quite a bit to talk about, I think, considering I haven't felt like I've done too much knitting. I did put time aside on Sunday, that was really nice and it felt good to be in the house, cosied up and like I committed to doing some knitting and I think I spent four or five hours just knitting. Um, I think it was four hours and because of it I do feel like I've done a, 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 you know a good amount on one project and I can't wait to share that. But yeah, anyway, I'll talk about knitting. I'm wearing my this is my Vapu. Um, it is a, a, quite a modified version of the pattern. I knit it at a tighter gauge. I use um, a fingering weight and a lace weight yarn. So I used a... Now I'm going to get this wrong. I either used Hulse Super Soft or Woolly Cone's 100% British Wool in Black. Woolly Cone? Woolly Knits 100% British Wool Cone in Black. That is quite a mouthful. Um, and I use Drops Mohair in black. They're, they're just two very sort of reliable, affordable yarns. Um, and I had another version of this knitted using um, Alpaca held to double. And I wear that thing even now. I, I try and wear it in the house as this is its replacement. This one just looks a bit nicer. It, it, the mohair doesn't pill and felt like the alpaca does. I am a mohair lover, but it just feels a lot nicer in terms of how I present myself. Um, it, it's just lasting. I haven't, some ends I haven't woven in properly, so that's on me. I don't look that neat for that reason, but I love it. Um, I've talked about this so much that I'm not going to go on, but the Vapu, it's a really lovely pattern. I have knitted it like 
eight or nine times, um, mostly for gifts. I find that it's a really reliable gift pattern uh, and it's an easy knit and a relaxing knit, a good sort of first jumper if you're looking for something to learn to knit on, especially a jumper. There are a few techniques that might be more for an ad adventurous beginner, but I don't, if you're gonna learn a skill, take it step by step, you'll learn it fine. Things like picking up stitches and decreasing? No, increasing, because it's top down. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then the other one I'm wearing is a finished object. Uh, I did say recently I don't need any more knitted hats, and that kind of remains true. However, Alex and I have a favourite black hat each, and I have a chunkier black hat that I knitted, um, and while I really like it, it doesn't fit like this, and this is my favourite. It, it sits more flat, like lower, and I don't know, it's just a very different, it, it's stocking it, it feels very different. Um, yeah, it's it stocking it, it feels so different to wear. Um, and Alex's black hat was in the wash. And I was like, oh, you can you can use my one. And then I was like, oh, but I want to wear it. So I kind of came to the conclusion that we really needed, we didn't need, but it would be useful to have a spare black hat that we can both wear when our favourite hats are being washed. So we were going out to a show anyway, and I wanted another project that I could just have in my bag. I know what I'm like if I'm if I feel a little bit anxious or I just know that we're going to be sitting for a long time, I thought it'd be good to have a project. So I took this, cast it on, and it took me like the best part of two days to finish. Um, and it's long. I'm not going to take it off because, I tell you what, my hair really needs a wash and no one needs to be scared like that right now. Um, but I used uh, Woolly Knits Evergreen which is 100% organic wool. It's it's a really lovely yarn. It is incredibly soft um, and I'm 100% organic wool. It's it's lovely and it, and it came in black. And then I have, I still have a little bit more, to be honest, black drops mohair. Um, but I use those held double and I improvised it. This And it is, it is almost exactly the same as the hat that I wear all the time, knitted in Let Low Be. Um, I knit my hats from the bottom up. Sometimes I do a tubular cast on to give a more finished edge, but on this one, I just cast on. I knew that I was gonna fold it at least at least once, and this one's actually folded twice, so it's got a three, three-fold brim, if you will, against my head. So it's lovely, lovely and warm. And I have already noticed that in comparison to the Let Lopey one, which I will still continue to wear endlessly, uh, that one's more heathered, so they do have a slightly different feel visually, but this doesn't make my hair go as frizzy. It's a lot more, it feels a lot kinder to my hair. I think the softness of the yarn really does make a difference. Um, and yeah, really, really fun, really easy and a gentle speedy knit. If you are looking, I know that there are hundreds of hat patterns out there. I think there's a, I think Pearl Soho do a one by one rope hat that's free on their website and it's available on Ravelry too. And there's loads of other really good ones out there, which is why I just haven't written a hat pattern up. I just don't think it necessary. I might have put the, my notes for my Let Lopey one on Kofi as just like a blog post, but I'm not, I'm not hundred percent certain. If it, if I have, I'll go back and link it. Um, but this is the way I wear my hats a lot. It's a little bit, higher than a lot of people. This has been pulled down closer today because I've been outside. I went outside 
and it was sunny <laughs> which might be why I feel so uh, giggly maybe this morning I took myself out for a walk and I have been wanting to for a while and I've been saying this that recently I've been kind of letting my I haven't been treating myself how I would want to treat a friend or to tell a friend entirely and I think that's sad and wrong for me personally and I'm quite normally I would say in tune with myself and if I feel like it I'll be like stop and what I've been feeling a need to be productive and a need to keep going and a sense of guilt if I'm going out for a walk and that is so dumb for me, that is so dumb, especially if, you know, day to day you're, you're as productive as you can be in a sensible way where you're not going to burn out. Why, why not allow yourself the time to do something that's going to make you feel even better and more productive and happier in the long run? So I went out for a walk this morning and it felt really good. Um, yeah. Hi, sunshine. Uh, yeah. So that's why I'm wearing my hat and I won't take it off my head. <laughs> it's long. Like I said, it's got three. It's got two folds. Yeah, I love it. I have also finished two things that I'm really happy with. One is the most special. And I'll share it first because it is the most special. And I keep saying it, and I think it is one of my favourite projects of the year. It So this yarn came to me at a time, one of the harder times I've had this year, and it was like receiving just a woolly, huggy surprise. It's beautiful, and it is the Hearth DK by Woolly Mammoth Fibre Co. I shared it before. Uh, it's in the colourway seaweed, it's a DK weight yarn, it's BFL and Jacob, so two of my absolute favourite like, fibres of all time. I just love it. Um, Emma's yarn is absolutely stunning and they are all naturally dyed and even like the ball bands and things are just stunning. Um, and so just for context for if you're if you're new here i was kind of sent this by a dear friend and i felt strange asking but part of me was like i'll knit it into a hat because i'll wear it and I, I will but as i've discussed i have black hat i just wear black hats most of the time if i if it's on my head it's generally black sometimes i'll wear one of my other hats but i've become quite boring with my hat choices <laughs> um so i was like i know that this would be a really special hat and i would probably wear it because it's just one of the colors that i'm really drawn to however i was like i have a hot water bottle that needs a cover and so i reached out to my friend and i was like you're yannicka i would say hi yannicka if you're here um you know would would you feel like it's weird for me to use this for a hot water bottle cover. I know that it's like it's a really special yarn. The project and the outcome would be really special, but I don't know if 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 it might be a waste of this yarn. And anyway, I cast on and I shared my progress last time and I have finished it and I love it so much. Um we had the pleasure of doing a very quiet knit along. We ended up only getting to two sort of virtual knit night evenings to knit on it but I think that was fine I think actually having like an almost cast on party and a bind off party is one of the nicest things that I've done in terms of a knit along and I think that might be something that I would like to figure out for the future um you know doing doing a project together that way uh, on a bigger scale I don't know what that might be. Maybe it's a hat. Maybe it is for another hot water bottle cover. But 
it was a really nice way of doing it and we got, did get to bind off together and Yoyana because it's beautiful uh, so yeah I to make it I did a little bit of maths it was a very simple bit of maths and uh, I got asked quite a few times last week uh, the last time that I posted for for a pattern and I've, I've written it up so I've written it up um, and I've also written instructions on how to make it yourself as best I can I again I'm sure there's plenty of patterns out there I'm just I just really enjoy making things how I want them to be and hopefully the way I've written it will facilitate others to not just be able to knit this which I think is really really gorgeous and this cable is so tactile um, but make make more customised how, how they would want to knit it and I think that's really fun <sighs> I ended up doing a double, we, we called it a double collar, a double neck, double collar, like a folded collar or a folded neck, um, mostly because I was enjoying knitting on it so much, but I have to say that the way that fin is finished is really nice, um, and I can't wait to use it. So we, I've had a bit of a talk about hot water bottles lately. Because I think I've been knitting on one and I've been in the front of my mind and other people have messaged. I, I've actually got it here somewhere. I use hot water bottles a lot, like really quite a lot. And I am that numpty, that sausage, that will put on a belt and just attach it to myself. Or... Predominantly when I was working uh, in coffee, I used to do event-based coffee work for 11 years. <laughs> um, and a lot of that in the winter months, well, a lot of that was outdoors and even in the summer it got quite cold. Um, since we had unlimited mostly, sometimes you had to carry the water so you were a little bit tighter with it than otherwise. Um, but because there was almost unlimited hot water, I would take this one with me. It is one of the first things I crocheted. It is also using blacker yarns wool, which made it particularly special. I think these were just oddments of acrylic, but um, as you can see, it's really been, <laughs> really been loved. It's really been loved, but it was the right size that you could just slot it in a dungaree pocket. And then just put a jumper. So I used to put my Icelandic jumper over the top of it and just be warm and everyone else would be like, what? How, how are you, how are you still kind of semi smiling? And I'm like, cause I've got a hot water bottle and they'd laugh that it's like July or August. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm warm. <laughs> um, so I love them and I have no shame in attaching myself to one of these and actually I took it yesterday we went to Alex's work like I said I took it using the remnants of what we had boiled for our cups of tea for on the way in and I put that next to us and did the same with Alex's Alex has got a little one like this too and he was like this is genius as I like, yeah just take it everywhere something one of these little ones even this, like, when it's not got anything in it, it doesn't take up much space in a tote bag. Or just lasso it to your body and you're golden. But yes. I love it. And, like, I, it really is one of my favourite projects of the year. But anyway, so I was knitting this one for myself and this was a project that I couldn't take with me into... 
into London really to work on when we were going to the gigs. So I thought I would knit Alex one because he was starting to look at mine like, oh yeah, and I was like, no, <laughs> this one's my one. We share most things, this one's for me. So I cast him on one using this, which is, again, this is absolutely stunning yarn. This has 50% it's 50 maybe it's a little different ratio maybe it's 80 20 but it's blue face leicester bfl and gotland by gathered sheet yarns it is a beautiful base it is sort of lustrous this is not an accurate color um sort of back here it is so i'll get a little shot Um, it's lustrous, it's soft, it's got a gentle halo and the colourway is called Earth and I used it for my Wild Mother shawl um, and I had a fair amount of it left and this is what I still have left and it might be enough for a second one of these um, but I cast on another one for Alex and I went simple with this um, because I knew I was going into London and we would just well, I just wanted a project, so I quickly cast this on in the morning before we went and then did most of this on the train into London. Alex actually helped and you can sort of see in part where he has uh, and we made a friend. <laughs> In the process, uh, Alex made a, a doggo friend and a human friend uh, uh, because he was knitting on the train and I thought that was really nice that because of because I did take the yarn and the project out with us we ended it's ended up having a bit more of a story than just oh I knit Alex a hot water bottle cover it's you know we ended up being able to talk to multiple people because there was a a trigger for a conversation I don't know a starting point talking point and it was a really nice conversation I think one of the one of the people that we met and started talking to was a car salesman and suddenly quit everything and wants to teach uh, meditation which is quite cool um, and then and initially he was sort of giggling and then we had a good old talk and about you know the history of knitting and that's kind of knitted into this now. Uh, so it's seamless. Uh, Judy's magic cast on, increased, knit straight, decreased, and then a bit of ribbing on Alex's one. I just did a single, I didn't do a folded brim, and I did an eye cord bind off. Um, and I'm really happy, I like his happy with it too. But. I might fill these up later <laughs> and sit on them. I'll sit on sit on one and cuddle the other. But I didn't think that I would enjoy knitting these as much as I did and I didn't think that the outcome would feel as special as they do and I have to say that even this one even I think I think this is nine years on this this cover maybe even ten I think it was the first year I met Alex so it would be ten years old um, it still feels special and I can still have the memory of knitting it and the satisfaction so it's quite cool hopefully these will just continue to keep on going and yeah i will i will 
see how quickly I can get the well the patterns done I'm going to I wasn't going to I was just gonna give it away and not do anything with it um, but so far it's 11 pages of documents so I am gonna pay to get it tech edited um, a couple of people asked me before like for the pattern before I even like fully finished it so it's sort of being test knitted already um so yeah that should be out fairly shortly um but i definitely 100 percent recommend if you need a woolly hug a hot water bottle with a woolly hand knitted cover is that's where it's at I don't know why I'm in such a silly mood. Um, I wonder if you'll be able to hear it, but Alex actually did some brewing on Sunday, which is part of the reason that I kind of took some time to knit. But his beer is quietly bubbling away, which is good because it means that the yeast's working, but I wonder if you can hear it. And if so, I hope it's not distracting. <laughs> it's always a fear. I quite like it, it's kind of like comforting. Get another little bit of life in the house. I'll share this one because this one isn't that exciting, but you know, we've got I think it's kind of exciting for the recipient, but I have said that I'm not really doing knitted gifts this year. I have Alex's jumper, he's Gansy to finish, and I will probably do another one of these for someone that asked for one in the summer. And, and it's not because I don't want to knit for other people, I would really like to do it more, but time, stress, the amount of things that are going on at the, you know at the moment and I've, it's just not this year is not the year for that and i think it's good to know it's good to know and make those decisions but i was asked for a mustard hat and i remembered that i have some mustard yarn this is the same as this which is the 100 percent british wool cone from woolly knit this is the colour harvest. I really like it. It, it is mustard with like a hint of grey, brown, black, and a hint of orange in there. Um, so I just wound some off onto a cake so that I could have two smaller balls because again, we were going into London, thought it would be good to just have a project like that and I ended up knitting on it quite a bit while I was playing Dungeons and Dragons on Thursday and I am going to try and save this for this Thursday so that I have an, a project I can knit on while I'm playing. Um, but I've, I'm, I'm knitting a hat the same as what I'm wearing so this is what it looks like in, pro in progress. I didn't do a tubular cast on, I just did a plain one because I think it will be folded twice. So that will, that's, that's how far I am. I will probably need to do a good amount of stocking it. This is for a, a slightly larger head than mine. Uh, so once it stretches out, it will become shallower. And, and then again, the same style of decreases so I tend to divide it into four or five the amount of stitches and then just do a decrease for the first stitch in each section for one round and then just knit around and that's it I get until I'm happy with the amount of stitches I have left generally that is 16 8 16 or 8 that's generally where I get to in that vicinity Pull all the stitches through, weave the end in, wear your hat. Um, 
so yeah this is a basically a DK weight because I'm holding four ply together and I am yeah I'm using 3.75 mil needles and one by one rib and I tell you what these things are just so fun to knit I don't know why I think it's because I've had had my fill of stocking net for a, for a while <laughs> if that makes sense I've, 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 I this is a little bit more engaging than just stocking it but still something that my hands can just do without any thought um, yeah which might be why I'm craving craving why I would really like to knit some socks I've got like five or six sock patterns that I'm like I'd really love to knit them but I was talking about it the other day with Yannicka and I, I do want to clear my needles a bit and that's not because I want the projects gone and I'm not enjoying them it's because I, th I think I've got three garments on there and I'd really like to just have one garment one sock and then one other project that's small at an absolute maximum um so it's not quite overwhelm it's just oh well maybe I should do this one maybe I should do that one so what I'm trying to do is get this finished while saving it for Thursday <laughs> Put this down save it for thursday so i could get easily carried away so what instead of getting too caught up i hope that i'll finish alex's jumper and i, I can share that with you if you would if you'd like i can't i can't do this in real time <laughs> like do you want to see it because i'll get it but you have to it does not how this works uh, i wish it was though that would be really cool um I'll show you it quickly. Uh, if you've been here for any length of time, you will have seen this over and over again. Uh, so I'll just very briefly, this is the Ardmore Gansey by Kate Davies. We have knitted it nearly three times. I might rip this sleeve out, I'm not sure. But I did, while playing Dungeons and Dragons last Sunday, uh, work on the sleeve. And it is sitting in line with the black jumper that Alex knitted for himself. So I do think it might be okay. Um, I'm decreasing quite quickly at the moment. But I am still slightly worried that it's not going to be quick enough. So I'm going to get him to try it on and see if I'm going to have to rip this out again. <laughs> Which is fine. I, I really would rather rip it out than it not be perfect for him especially since he did knit most of it himself the first time and he, it's an item he really wants. Uh, the yarn is Ulysses by Dorero Natura and yeah so we'll put that away but this has sort of gone on hold because I want to finish this next project because then I'm down to two and that feels a bit more more Not even manageable. I don't know, it just feels a bit better to me, so that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but the last project was, well, is, a, is a knit along that I was kindly invited to be a part of, and I'm really enjoying the project so far. It is for the Dream Sweater by Claudia Q of Unit Toronto. Uh, I am using Scout by Kelvin Wallens. I think it's called Charcoal Heather, yeah. This is called Charcoal Heather, and this one was just Grey Heather, I believe. This is all now excess, so they could offer maybe 50 gram skeins for the smaller sizes and get away with it, but this is going to get used. I'm secretly hoping I've got enough of this left over to do a little bit of a colour work project. Um, I'm envisaging a hat, maybe for Alex. Um, this is ridiculously soft. I actually said to Alex in the car that it feels like a well-worn t-shirt, like a well-worn jersey t-shirt. And that's exactly, it. it's a little bit woolly. There's a touch of that to it, but yeah, it, 
uh, for me, I believe it's next to skin soft for a lot of people, even sensitive people, but don't hold me to that if you're very sensitive, you know what I'm saying? We've all, we've all got to make our own minds up. But because I did do quite a bit of knitting on Sunday, I've got really a lot further than, well, as far as I really would love to have been, um, and I'm thrilled because it's seeming like I'm, I'm fairly close to one project being done. And I love the colour work. It was so much fun to do. So here she is. This is the garment so far. I am a naughty little tinker, Santa. I'm not really a naughty little tinker. Don't put me on the naughty list, but. Um, so it is a bottom up jumper. You are meant to have knit the sleeves first. I have not knit the sleeves even now. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can pick the sleeves up and knit them top down. And this was for a reason. This wasn't just because I'm a naughty little tinker. It's because I think this is going to have to be a gift. I really love it and I can see myself wearing this thing all the time. But I think this has to go to... this. Has, I know who this is going to for for Christmas, which is another reason I'd like it sort of done, is because then it's... we're out of Christmas knitting zone almost. I've got Alex's and I live with him. He can have it late. I'll try not to do it late, but you know. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing ladder back jacquard. I've gone on about this technique quite a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link to the sort of video that I've used the most in the bottom. And all it means is you add in a purl stitch and that makes fabric sit at the back of your work. Um, so you can have these long floats with a lot more ease and they've got more, a lot more give to it. I added extra ones at the top, uh, but didn't have very many here. So it's a little bit hard to tell because, yeah. And also <laughs> I was watching Andor with Alex while knitting on this, which if you haven't seen, it is, well, it was uh, brilliant. I really, really enjoyed it. and. I'm very excited for a second series. It's a Star Wars spin-off show. I think it's brilliant. The music was super interesting. The writing style was better by a long shot than Lord of the Rings to me. It was weird that, if you remember Monarch of the Glen, uh, that the, like, Archie is in Andor and then the new lead is in Lord of the Rings. It's kind of felt like a bit of a battle of the battle of the leads. Anyway, yeah, we're getting there. I have done some short rows in the back, as described. Apart from I converted it from wrap and turn to German short rows. They're my preferred short rows of choice, so that's just what I do. Um, and I am now just about to start the ribbing. I am going to follow the pattern's instructions, I think. I'm not sure what the bind off is suggested, but I might do a tubular. And then, because of who this is going to, I will probably knit the sleeves straight and I will knit them to be even shorter than this one, I think, or about this length. Um, so basically the same as this, but with the beautiful little texture on it too. But this one's bringing me so much joy to work on and even though I know that I'm, I would love to keep this and I keep looking at it like, oh, I really would. Um, I think I should give it away and I think it will be really nice to have been gifted something and to pay it forward in this way. Um, and I might get to borrow it from time to time. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
It's really lovely. This yarn is ridiculously soft. Um, I wouldn't get to use it if it wasn't kindly sent to me, so I do feel very grateful. I really don't undervalue how things like that mean that I get to do this more and more as a... I wouldn't say it's a full-time job, because it's definitely not. Not even, like, it, it is in terms of how much energy goes into it, but... Yes, so this things like this have been wonderful, not just because I get to feel part more part of the community, I get to learn, I get to meet other people, but it financially keeps me keeps me knitting and trying things that I would never ever be able to to try otherwise. Um, yeah. I think I think that's everything that I've really worked on. I thought I would quickly share just we did a I say we did I'm part of a lovely a podcast podcasters knitting Instagram group I can't remember why or how but it's a really nice group I'm not very active in chatting there mostly because I'm not very uh, I don't I don't talk about what I have in my wool pantry very much and like purchasing yarn I, I don't really purchase very much yarn and if I do I do it quite quietly and decide usually you're hassling Alex um so but there was a call for a, an advent calendar swap and I thought that would be a really nice way of you know giving back to someone and I got actually paired with Brogan of Woolly Witchcraft which is really cool someone that I'd actually met in real life so I knew fingers crossed Brogan um, what Brogan might like and the colour palette and things like that so that was really nice to put together I put most of it together in September and again a really nice knitter reached out to me uh, regarding some yarn and I was like I'd really love it but also I feel like this person would really love it too so I we I spoke with them and I was like there's no pressure to but if you'd like to pass it forward to Rogan we, we can put a note in I'd love for you to write a note to say it's from you um so that was really cool um and I cannot wait for Brogan to open that on the last day because it is stunning but I got sent one too from lovely mega of Games of Dreams podcast and I really enjoyed it and I just wanted to share these first few because why not huh um but this is from Woodsong Farm Natural Heritage Fibre and Animals and and it's a hundred percent llama which is a fibre I've never used before and part of me is like I might cast on an advent project I mean I might wait and do it in January as a post advent project if you will but this yarn is so cool it's so interesting and it does feel a lot like alpaca but there is a slight difference and I'm not sure if that's the way like it, I, I always imagined them having a very similar fiber but I don't know if it'd feel more similar if it was spun in a different way or if it is just slightly different it's got a little bit more sheepiness to it lovely and then this one this is farmer's daughter's fibers and the color uh, and this is soccer bee a hundred percent rambulate and I've never used rambulate at all um, and it is single ply which is tends to be something that I stay away from a little bit but I think this colour's stunning um, and it goes like, like I said really beautifully I think Mega's been very clever with colours and then this is 100% alpaca from where she's from so 
feel like, yeah, there might be a project and it might be, I keep saying a might, but it's just a might. I, I, I was thinking of some sort of colour work or a project that uses one main colour and then these as pops. And whether that's something like the Snowdrift by Emily Foden, so like a shawl. I don't know. I don't. I don't really see myself knitting a blanket with this sort of amount of yarn. Maybe a wrap a shawl, but there are some really excellent patterns out there that use lots of bits of yarn. So yeah, I just thought I had to share because I'm very grateful that I, I, I've got this. But I think next year, um, I'd love to help more knitters to be able to do that because it was such a lovely project to put together. But last year we did a, uh, we called it the Beat the January Blues Box. So we did a swap in my Fellowship of the Stitch. I think that needs a rethink. I don't know. I like it. It's cute. But... Um, group on discord and we did a, a swap where there was a very cool idea of making a magic ball where you keep attaching different yarns and then putting a little gift in the center um but everyone seemed to do something different and it was really nice um i tried to help pair people into whether they wanted to ship more locally or if they were happy to ship abroad and it was just really fun and it was nice to again think of someone and curate something and to have something to look forward to on the darker days so i think we've already had i think 10 or so people i think about that say that they'd like to do that again this year so i'm gonna start looking into that but yeah and there's lots to be grateful for a lot a lot of things have been happening and it's starting to feel more steady for a long time and i I'm hoping to actually, Alex has nearly finished his orange hat, he's been working on for a long time. I'm hoping to get Alex to sit down with me, but he can definitely attest it's been like choppy waters. There's been some really good moments this year, really brilliant, but it's felt really a lot. Um, and hopefully we're working towards not having such an intense sort of Christmas time with our families being so far apart. If we were to go between locations, it's like 14, well, 18 hours of driving or something, which for the UK is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, and when you factor in like festive traffic and all of that, it's like, it's not really a holiday. So we're trying to figure that out and make it the best we can. And yeah, anyway. Hopefully there's a little bit of nature footage for you. Hopefully you're doing well. And I know that the video I did last week was slightly strange and I'm really grateful for the the warmth of reception. And I think what I'll do is plan to do a, an hour version too. So that last, <laughs> in case you don't didn't see, which is totally valid. I always try and talk like no one's ever watched anything that I've done. And then I can't decide because if you don't explain stuff, then people won't know. But if you do, and they've heard it before, they're like, yeah, I know, I get it, whatever. Um, but last week I did a video that was just half an hour long of just sat knitting, in the hope that in times where you're feeling more introverted or you need to focus, that I can just be there with you to sit and knit, and we'll just focus on something together. And I think I'll do an hour-long version for the future. I think also I'm going to take a couple of weeks off around the holidays and that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop recording. I think I'm going to just plan to do my year review of jumpers. That takes a lot of work and it would be nice to just quietly do that and just plod with it rather than trying to sit down in one setting and then edit it in a day. It'll be quite nice to sit down, maybe even get Alex's opinions on jumpers. That might be interesting, like because he knows what I say when I wear things. I, he, you know, he can be like, actually, you put that on and then you take it off or blah, blah, blah. Um, 
and yeah that that's it i think with vlogmas being so prevalent and things like that i am not gonna i'll try and document some stuff to share rather than trying to keep up with doing normal videos when time might be a bit wibbly wobbly so yeah thank you so much for sitting down with me like i say i hope that you do have a nice week or two i think it'll just be a week i think i'll record next week but i hope you have a nice week whatever you get up to and i hope that the projects you are knitting on are bringing you joy don't be afraid to frog stuff if you don't like it rip it out start again and uh yeah sending you lots of love and big kisses <laughs>